what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I always hate starting off videos with like an apology or on a sour note, but I didn't have any videos last week and I wanted to apologize for that. But last week I was just kind of down in the dumps. I wasn't feeling like myself. I've been going through something that's definitely personal. I know a lot of people like kind of real life raw videos and maybe something that I eventually talk about, but I'm still personally dealing with it. And last week was just not a good one. I didn't want to get on camera and just be like sad and look depressed and just not be like into what I was talking about. So I thought it was best just to take a week break wait for a fresh week, fresh start. I've been praying and I just feel better today. So I thought today was a great day to film a video. I'm going to be showing you some new products that I received in the mail, some PR items. So if you're not into PR hauls, this one probably isn't going to be for you, but I'm just going to give you some swatches, my current thoughts on them. I haven't used all the products yet, but I still just wanted to give you a preview. That way you guys know what's out there, what's coming up all that good stuff. I also do have a giveaway for you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I have like a love affair with Miranda Fry jewelry. I used to really be into statement necklaces. Don't get me wrong, I still am. But lately, I've just really been loving kind of like delicate light layering pieces. So the chokers that I'm wearing right now, this one on the top, is just this gorgeous dainty little choker. This is called the Chloe Choker. And then down here on the bottom, you can actually extend this one a bit longer. This is the Kingsley necklace. It's just this gorgeous, like super Super sparkly disc necklace when it catches the light it's absolutely stunning I just love her pieces I did a giveaway with the Ashley necklace a couple months back I know y'all were dying over that one so they were super kind to offer another giveaway the only rule is that you have to go follow them on their Instagram show them some love and just go on there comment tag me let me know which piece you would pick their new fall collection is absolutely stunning so these two are from their fall collection as well as these hoops you guys know, like, I have so many earrings. I have tons of statement earrings, chandelier earrings, but hoops are definitely my favorite. I feel like they're casual, but at the same time, they can, like, dress up an outfit. These are the, I believe they're Soraya, Soraya hoops. They have them both in the 14 karat gold plated as well as the silver. They're two inches in diameter, but they're so lightweight. I love hoops. Like, gold hoops are just my thing. I'm obsessed. Honestly, on any given day, I'm at least wearing one Miranda Fry piece. This is one of my favorite cuffs, as well as the trio of the bangles. This is a fall piece if you're into rings that I think you'll love. This is the Helix ring. And as you can see, it's just this large springy coil, so you can keep it super tight where it just looks like a stack of tiny gold bands, or you can kind of stretch it out like I did, just to give that more cage effect. Another piece that I wanted to quickly show you though, this is the Adele collar. If you liked the Ashley necklace and you're into kind of like unique asymmetrical pieces, I think you will love this one. Check it out. So it's just this gold collar, and on one side you have a three and a half inch tassel, and on the other side it's two and a half inches. So it just stays open on your collar. This was just like a white v-neck or just any solid v-neck. Obviously you could wear it with a dress, anything like that. But if if you're just wearing like kind of boyfriend jeans and then like a slouchy v-neck this just dresses it up this is definitely one of my top three favorite pieces from the fall collection so yeah if you guys are interested I will have all the details for the giveaway done below I also do have a coupon code with them it's just Dana all in capital letters and that will save you 10% as well as free shipping in the US this is from Ciate. Chloe Morello recently did a collab with them. First of all, the packaging I love. I love flamingos and rose gold, so I thought this was so cute. You can get this at Sephora as well as on Ciate's site. There's her gorgeous face right there. So inside, I actually haven't even played with this one yet, but I'm excited to. Inside you get this super cute like navy pebbled makeup pouch that says Ciate. The zipper's even rose gold. I would have never thought of navy and rose gold together, but that is cute. This is nice to just keep in your purse and throw in like extra lip glosses. Inside you get their new Wonder Wand Mascara, a liquid velvet in pinup, which that one is probably one of my favorite colors from them. And then here's the actual palette. Once again, it has the flamingos and it's just called Pretty Fun. Is this a mixture of the other palettes? because they have like a pretty fun and fearless palette. I showed those in my recent palette declutter. If you guys haven't watched that already, I'll go ahead and annotate it right here. So on the top row here, you have some gorgeous warm natural shades. You have a row of kind of neutrals and then these cooler plummy and cranberry tones. Let's swatch some of these. The metallic ones, wow, those are buttery. Fierce is really pretty. Let's see what a matte looks like. Unconditional. Mmm. Sometimes shadows perform better than they swatch. I mean, it was soft. Oh no, that one's good though. On fire, that's a really good warm matte brown 
crease color. Next up, I have some products from this new brand called Koki. If you guys look on the actual logo, there's this adorable little elephant, and the name is short for the Korean word Kokiri, which means elephant. I believe the brand was found in Maryland, and it launched last, late last year, early this year. You can find it at Harman's Bed Bath & Beyond, the Christmas tree shops, which I don't know if we have one of those nearby. Looking on the site, it seems like for the most part, everything was about $7 or below. So they sent three of these polishes. I actually have this one on my toes right now. I'm not gonna show you my feet because feet and the internet, it's just a weird thing. But this one is called Heavenly. The brush is, it's a good brush, but it's nothing like spectacular. I would just call it like an average brush. This is a really gorgeous cream formula though. And then we have this kind of duochrome one called Euphoria. Wasn't there, I actually have it. There's a Chanel polish that's pretty similar to this one. What I really like about this though is the handle. It's super comfortable. It's like not too skinny, not too long. I kind of like I don't know, the shape of it is just very like ergonomically friendly. And then this final shade here is called a Sparkler Send Off and it's just a gorgeous kind of rose gold sparkly glitter top coat. And then they sent several of their matte lipsticks. I haven't tried these yet, but I will give you guys swatches. One just rolled over there. These are their matte lipsticks. I believe these retail for $6 as well. I like the packaging, it's simple, but the black and white stripes are just really cute to me. This one is called High Tea. And it's just like a retractable little, kind of similar to the um, shape-wise. What am I thinking? Like the Jordana and then the NYX HD Voltage lipsticks mixed together. It's like a little bit bigger than the NYX one, but the bullet is like cut the same way. I have tried these, or at least one of them. There's the Dynamic Duo Eyeliner Pen and then this one. This Line & Style Long Wear Matte Liquid Eyeliner. The shape is kind of like... A triangular almost like a calligraphy pen type of style but when it comes to liquid liners I love a matte one I don't like shiny liquid liner like if I'm gonna wear a liquid wing I want it to just be flat and matte so this one works really nicely I haven't tried this one though this is the dynamic duo eyeliner pen so on one side you have a liquid liner and then on the other oh they're actually both liners so there's a thin side and then a thick side NYX has something similar to this as well. I believe the eyeliners were either six or seven dollars. But the nail polish so far, at least the cream formula, I'm definitely impressed with. Next up, I have a couple of products from JCat Beauty. You guys know I love their Dolce um, eyeliner, or not eyeliner, eyeshadow trio. I love to use that as a highlighter, but now they have actual highlighters. I know Ulta carries a little bit of the JCat Beauty line, not all of them, but you can order them online. It's a super affordable line. This is the You Glow Girl Baked Highlighter in White Goddess. I wore this in a recent Instagram picture, and I love it. There's either a pink or golden shade online as well. I definitely want to try that one, just because when it comes to highlighters, that's normally what I gravitate towards. But as you can see, this is more of a white gold highlighter. It has a really nice, just like, ba bam Just like a metallic sheen. It's so, so pretty. If you like highlighters and you're looking for an affordable option, this would be a good one. This product I haven't tried yet, but it's just the Invisible Matte Lip Makeup Remover. Pretty much, I don't know what this one is, but I mean like if you use coconut oil or a cleansing balm, I'm guessing something similar to that, but in a tube. However, I have tried these. They are the Lipfinity Matte Lip Kiss Proof. They are kiss proof. The only thing is they never fully dry down matte. Like it stays sticky no matter what. I ended up going in with a little bit of translucent powder and just dabbed it. That way there was some sort of layer because whenever I like rubbed my lips together, I could still feel a bit of stickiness and it was driving me crazy. But the color was gorgeous. They are long wearing. After a couple of hours, the um, center part kind of fades off so you do need to retouch it. But it never got like like clumpy, it just never fully dried down completely matte. But this shade here is gorgeous. It is called Day Club Chaos. The next brand I have to share with you guys is called Thrive Cosmetics. I really love the philosophy behind this brand. Rather than just worrying about selling makeup, it's all about empowering women in need as well. So for every product that you purchase, they donate one to a woman in need, whether it's in shelters, rehab centers, anything like that. The brand was actually founded by a woman named Carissa, I think in Seattle. She was actually working for the L'Oreal luxury division when she lost one of her best friends to cancer. So she just wanted to 
give back. Exactly. I saw that they did multiple benefits for breast cancer as well. Just basically any woman in need, which I think is awesome. A lot of their products as well are vegan friendly. Not everything was, but I know I would say a vast majority of the site was. So first up, I have these glossy lip marks. I haven't used every single shade because I do want to include some in a giveaway. I did use the deeper shades though, just because with it being fall, you guys know I always gravitate towards um, vampy colors. The only thing is I didn't notice too much of an even staining. The formula though is incredibly comfortable, super glossy. I would say it's fairly long wearing for a gloss. The shade that I wore, was it Joanne or Pamela? I think it was this one here called Joanne. I like the packaging too, just this bright teal color. So the actual product looks like this. Um, the applicator is one of those kind of like shovel shaped with a little indent in the center, kind of like the YSL glossy stains or the L'Oreal infallible ones. So you get a good amount of product with just one dip. So this color here is gorgeous. It's like kind of a glossy, plummy type of, why do I always swatch in the most awkward positions? We'll just save the swatch for an up close view. But yeah, Joanne is gorgeous. I really liked Pamela as well. They also sent over the triple threat color stick. I haven't tried this one yet. It's in Joy. It just looks like a chubby highlighting type of product. And then on the other end, you have a little flat brush to blend it out. That's like a good purse friendly type of product. I also have a brow pencil and an eyeliner, but this I wanted to show you swatches of. I've used the brow bone shade and the gold color, and these are so pigmented. This is just palette number one from the Focus Eyeshadow Palette. It says full coverage, fade resistant, enriched with vitamin and B5. I don't know what it is about this color. I just really like it. It makes me happy. So here's the packaging of the quad, and then inside there are your four shades. Like check out this gold. It's so pigmented and just bright. So I haven't used these two yet, but like I said, I have used the brow bone shade. The gold is beautiful. And the next up, I got this awesome package from Smashbox. And inside, they recently launched like, I think it's 120 shades of their Be Legendary lipsticks. I own two or three of them. Audition is one of my favorites. So I was super excited when they sent over 20. I'm sure you guys will be seeing this in a giveaway soon too. I'm just wanting to put it together some sort of holiday Christmas themed giveaway so I've just been setting things aside because if you guys watch my lipstick to clutter you know I got a ton and I don't need all of these but I have swatched several of these shades the ones that I knew I wanted to keep or like give to my mom or something and they are super super pretty surely you'll be able to find a shade in the like 120 that they have to choose from but here's a quick overview of some I'm sure I will have his swatches for some of my favorites going up on the screen um where is it I know this one, Nude Mood, I loved that one. Yeah, I don't know, this was just a really fun package to open. So there's the Smashbox lippies. Um, next up, let me show you a couple other palettes I got. This is from Pure, it's the Transformation Palette. It says Sculpting Eyeshadow and Cheek Palette. I actually wore several of the colors in here yesterday. Here's the packaging, just this cute little silver palette. And then inside, you get five shadows, and then, oh, look at my mess. Five shadows, a cream sculpting product, a cream blush. This is actually cream as well. So I don't know if this works as like an eyeliner as well as like a black base. But this shade here, um, yes please, both of those are gorgeous. Look at this gold. This is like a straight up in your face yellow, yellow gold. The shade in the crease, um, so good. And then let me just give you up close swatches of the shadows. Look at those. If you're into like warm shadows, you're gonna love this. I haven't really played with the cream blush or the bronzer yet, so I can't tell you much about that. But the shadows are super good. I definitely prefer these shadows over the shadows that are in the Love Yourselfie palette. I don't hate that palette, but it's just not one of my favorites. But these shadows, super buttery. This is from The Balm. It's just called the Appetite Eyeshadow Palette. I've only really swatched one in here. I want to start doing like at least one tutorial a week, like focusing on a different palette because clearly I have a ton of palettes. But look at this, isn't this so cute? I mean, it's not the most practical to dip your brush in, but for the most part, like since the letters are so chubby, they are easy to get in there. This copper color in the heart, that one was like instantly calling my name. Let's just do like these three in the middle. Yes, that copper is so good in this kind of like purpley taupey shade. 
I'm excited to play with this one. Next up, I have this one from City Color called the Boho Chic Palette. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I swatched this one a while ago. I did a City Color video several months back where I swatched like a ton of their shadows. If you're looking to expand your eyeshadow collection and you want like good metallics that are just in the drugstore price range, City Color is a great way to go. Their mattes aren't the best. Why am I showing you this upside down? Their mattes aren't my favorite, but the metallics are super, super silky. Like, let's get some of these right here. They sell them in singles as well, and they're like larger shadows, about the size of a Makeup Forever Pro Artist shadow, and I think they perform great. I use them quite often, especially the golds and the coppers. I think this palette is $15.99. I'm not sure if City Color has coupon codes or not. Don't worry, I got you. If I can find one, I will have it down below. And then this is the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I love this way more than I thought I was going to. Don't get me wrong, I already love the Jouer Single Shadows. I think they're great. But when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, you know, that's just like a typical neutral palette. But these are so, so pigmented. Now, with being pigmented, they kind of remind me of the Lorac Shadows with how much pickup they get, like if you use a fluffy brush. But I'm okay with that just because the pigmentation is amazing. The black in here is so, so good. I think you get five luminous shadows, yeah, and then seven matte shadows. The shadows are super silky. They blend easily. I love it. And that's just a good assortment of colors. I feel like for any age, whether you're older or you're still just starting off with makeup, just because you can, it's definitely a shadow that you can build up the intensity or you can go in like heavy handed right away and just have like ba bam type of colors. They're from the Japanese Holiday Collection. I think this is the last thing I actually have to show you guys. So first up, this is just their Velvet Touch Finishing Powder. Um, I think it, this one's a translucent. I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to open this one though just because I have several of these powders already. This one is just in really pretty gold packaging. And then you also have this large brush, kind of reminiscent of the Becca brush. But I thought this was something great to add to the holiday collection because I'm all about sharing the wealth with you guys just because I have so many powders already. But I love Japanesque's powder. Honestly, I think Japanesque is kind of a brand that's underrated. Their brushes, what are they called? Like black and it has like the almost like twist looking effect on the brush handles. Those are some of my favorite face brushes. Like when it comes to powder, they're so, so good. So I'm going to set this aside for you guys. But then I do have this trio of highlighters. This would make a great gift if you're looking for like gifts where you can break down for a couple of friends. So inside you kind of have a champagne, a rose gold, and then more of a bronzy highlighter. It's $34. The highlighters are a good size, but then check this out. Inside, they give you three little individual gold boxes to put the highlighters in and package. And then there's just a little two from label on the back. I thought this was so cute. So if you have like highlighter junkie friends, this would be perfect. Just this little gold compact. And then there's a highlighter. It does have a mirror. Whether you are using it to like break down for stocking stuffers or just individual gifts, I mean $34 and then you have three little gifts right there. I love that they came with those little boxes. I just thought it was a sweet little touch. So yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any certain products you guys would like to see reviews or demos of, definitely let me know down below. Thank you for being patient with me since I didn't have any uploads last week. But yeah, I love you guys all so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!